All right, boys and girls, it is story time. And the story today is when spring comes. Remember, our theme this week is all about spring. Our author of the story, the person who wrote the story, is a boy, and his name is Kevin. Our illustrator, the person who drew all the pictures, is a girl, and her name is Laura. So let's get started. When spring comes. Comes. Ooh, look at all these pretty spring pictures on this page. All right, let's get started. When spring comes. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun, and it comes with rain, and more rain, and more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt and fill up the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. Oh look, they're playing with the butterfly. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. That's how it is outside. It's snowing. Spring changed its mind yesterday. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it. You will smell it. You will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer. The end. Wow, that was a good story. All right, bye boys and girls.